Go. Hi, so the, um, this afternoon what we're going to do is I'm going to be making a veg curry for you to um, see how to prepare that. Now we're going to start with your potato. You'll need a potato peeler and you'll need to peel your potato and then what you'll need to do is you'll need to cut it into cubes about this size, okay? We don't want them very big because um, it will lengthen the time that you've got to cook your um, curry. So your onions and your carrots will be pre-prepared from the last lesson and um, so they'll be ready to go. You just need to cut up your potato. You just need one fairly size, even sized um, potato. It says on there one small, about that size will do. Put, um, you're going to prepare your potato at school. If you prepare it at home, what would happen? It would go black. So don't prepare your, prepare your um, potato at school. Once you've cut your potato, be ready to go straight in. I've just put mine in some water to stop it from going black because I prepared those earlier, but you won't need to do that. So I'm going to heat up the oil in my pan and I'm going to put in there my onion and my carrots that I prepared earlier. I'm going to give that a little stir. Now there's natural sugars in the carrots and the onions and as they cook, those sugars will start to caramelise. And that caramelization will turn the carrots and the onions will start to go brown. So we don't want these going too brown a colour. We just want them to go slightly see through the onions and the carrots. We just want those to cook a, li um, a little bit before we start. Just starting off those caramelization as it gives a nice desired um, taste that we like. Then I'm going to add my garlic. So your garlic, you're going to have cloves like that. What you need to do is you need to top and tail it. Can you see, as I've taken off that end, the skin starts to peel off. So take the two ends off, and then that skin should peel off quite easily. And then you can um, chop your garlic up. The school will provide you with the garlic for that. Then using your bridge and claw method, you can um, chop your garlic up, cut it up quite small, and then you can put that into straight into your curry. And that will add some more flavour there. Just going to stir these because these are starting to caramelise on one side, so I'm going to turn them over so they don't go burnt or too brown. I'm just going to finish off cutting up my garlic. The finer you chop it, the more flavour you get out of your garlic. I just had um, some chillies left over from another thing that I did, so I'm just going to add some chilli and some coriander which I had already. If you want to bring anything else like um, fresh chillies or coriander in to add to your curry, then you can. That just adds to the flavour. I'm going to stir that, keep stirring that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my potatoes. Add my potatoes there. And then what I'm going to do is just continually keep stirring those. And that's on quite a high heat. And as you can see, the onions have started going into a bit more see-through colour and the carrots are starting to cook as well and that's, they're caramelising now and that lovely sweet flavour comes out in the vegetables while they're cooking. Next you're going to need some um, of your chickpeas. So you will need to drain the chickpeas so you can do that in the sieve first of all. Some of them have cans have an opener like that. Some of them have um, where you have to open them with the can opener. So the can opener in school, this is one, you just put it on the side there, seal it by doing that, and then you turn the handle around like that. Okay. 
And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to add a sieve out, that'll be ready for you, and just sieve those. underneath and bring them back to where I'm working so they don't go all over the floor. I'm going to need to keep stirring this because this is starting to turn brown. We don't want it to burn. But as you can see it's starting to turn colour now and that's because the sugars are starting to caramelise. So that's your caramelisation process happening there. Right, I'm then going to make sure my other can is open. This one is opens like this. So you just lift it up like you can and then pull that back. Okay, I'm going to add my chickpeas into there. This is a 400 gram tin, so that's the size of the tin that you need. Put that stirred with chickpeas in. going to add my tomatoes now. These are chopped, so you can get chopped ones and then you can chop them up with a spoon once they're in if they're not pre-chopped ones. And then you just stir that in like that and you can see lots of different colour in there now so it's a nice colourful dish. Okay, and now the liquid is starting to cook the vegetables and the potatoes. So we need to add more liquid to that to get the potatoes to cook properly. They will cook better if covered with water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add 300, oh no, sorry, before I add the water, I need to add my curry paste. So I'm going to put a spoonful of um, curry paste in there. I'm going to do two spoonfuls to this. You can use your own mix. If you've got a good secret family recipe, you could bring in your own mix of herbs and spices to add to your curry. I've just used a mild um, curry sauce, uh, curry paste, sorry, there. You stir that in. Once that's stirred in, sorry, you can then add the water. And there is your curry. So you're just going to leave that to, bring it to the boil, leave it on the heat, bring it to the boil. Once it's started bubbling, then so it doesn't catch on the bottom, what you need to do, once it's started bubbling, that's starting to bubble now, just going to give that a bit of a stir, a bit more of a stir. And then let that bubble away. And then when it starts really bubbling after I've stirred it, then what I'll do is I'll reduce the heat. You need to cook that until the potatoes are cooked. So what you'll need to do is get a knife and you'll just need to just put the knife in the potatoes. If they're nice and soft, then the knife should go through quite easily. So that will take about 20 minutes to cook on the stove like that. As the sauce cooks, you'll see now there's a vapor coming off. That is the um, liquid inside here starting to evaporate. And then as it evaporates, the um, flavors will condense and you'll get a more intense flavor and that is called a reduction. So what we're doing is we're making a reduction of the sauce by allowing it, the steam to come off. What you don't want though, is it drying out. So if it starts to burn on, you need to keep stirring it else it will catch on the bottom, but you can do your washing up and in between, you can um, stir in between washing up, but don't just leave it. So mine's starting to bubble quite, I'm not so in, in a minute, what I'll do is just reduce that heat down. So can you see now that's really coming to a rolling bubble. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the temperature of, of that down so it's simmering. 
and that will then be a gentler heat and then I can just leave it while I'm clearing up and then I'll know it's ready because my potatoes will be um, soft. So you're aiming for your potatoes to be about that size. You don't want the potatoes breaking up and going mushy. So um, stop cooking as soon as they get to the right um, consistency. And then that's your, your curry. And then you can take that home and you can serve that with some rice or some bread, like some naan or a pitta, and that will taste really nice and be a really good all-in-one dish there. Thank you.